And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our final salt water scourge champion that we need to do for our gangplank card back. We got Nami. Yesterday we, we played Pike before we'd already played Misfortune, Tom Kench, and Twisted Fate. And now it's time for Nami because if you get an A or better skill with all five champions, then you get this cool looking gangplank card back. And so that's what we're going to do today. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play with Nami. So our goal is to get that A or better skill. I don't actually know what our deck looks like. Uh, let's see, because I haven't played Nami before. So we got Coral Creatures. Oh, no Double Trouble. All right, but that thing, this thing has a tune. Coral Creatures has a tune. Um, Mirai Warden is that one. Then what's this one? Okay, if you played a spell, then it gets elusive. Okay. And then Shark Trainer, that also has a tune. All right, so to get an A rating on the skill, looks like we got Karma again. Basically, what that means is that you have to be able to complete the, the challenge and defeat Gangplank without dying a single time. Without having one death. So we need zero deaths. So therefore, we, we do kind of want to go through the entire thing, as you saw with the pike, with to take a while um, because we want to actually kind of like that chunk of waters but anyway we kind of want to go through the entire thing because we want to make our deck as good as possible to make sure that we don't die all right save and spell mana yeah you're a squire Okay, Nami, play a spell. Buff up the Sinister Poro. Alright, not bad, not bad. Shark Trainer. That's a grant me elusive, right? Alright, so we're gonna play Parlay. I wanted to do that for the songstress. Leave me be. No outsiders. Oh, well, I guess they just killed the coral creatures. Eh. So taking damage is something you never want to do. All right, so we're not going to play the songstress. We'll just attack with these. This should be good enough, I imagine. Don't have to play every single card. I'm proud to call myself Tide Caller. Victory. What does this thing do? Place an enemy follower into the enemy. Oh, there we go. Into the enemy deck, then your opponent draws one. Not a bad card. I think maybe we just get more sand hoppers with the attune. Or Wardens. Wardens are going to be just like the best card. We'll just take Warden. It's not the best for Nami. But it's just the best card. Alright, we've reached level 2. Uh, I don't love any of these champions. Soraka Starspring? Want to play like the slow control Nami Soraka? Like that's kind of the way to go. I guess we'll do that. It's it's good at not dying, but it's not good at winning early, winning quickly. These are all pretty good options. So I'm not gonna choose the death ray because that just puts like too many spells in our deck. Yeah, I don't I don't really want the death ray, but the other two, um, you know, Zenith Blade's pretty nice. We get two copies, so we draw. So we like Zenith Blade plus draw the other Zenith Blade plus draw a card. Like that's pretty cool. Or this Shakedown plus draw a champion. Like that sounds awesome. So we're, let's take that. Let's take Shakedown, draw a champion. I 
Okay, and I'm, I'm taking I'm going like this little route first uh, Because you know, it's, it's a closed off route. So I'm going off uh, this one first for the beginning of the game And of course the deal damage to our own things is good for Soraka Well This is a Soraka hand And then that, that one mana spell that we just took, the Shakedown, the Draw the Champion, this um, ability is on your cards anywhere. And what I mean by that is if Coral Creatures creates another Shakedown, which is always possible, then, uh, then that Shakedown will have the Draw a Champion part of the card as well. Shall weave our own destiny. Let's get it, crew. Go no further. Mm. Why are you All right, here? Let's block. It's a good setup that we have with Nami. A tune one. But I will see it through. Deal two, make these two vulnerable. Rise with the I start Challenge you and you. Live with purpose. That's a pretty good setup. Okay, so you're at four. keep playing spells but I guess I should I guess I should save spell mana I understand so I feel like we're gonna have a long run with Nami Soraka here but I think our deck's gonna be very good and and we're gonna win a lot that's kind of the goal to have a deck that's very good and that wins a lot. I go where I waves take me. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. All right, both champions leveled up. Awesome. <laughs> That's just kind of good for me of like healing more things. Way to win right there. Okay. Two wins. This is gonna be a long attack. But that's alright. We're in here for the long haul. We're gonna be playing lots of cards, earning lots of prizes, getting lots of XP. Tidal waves cost one less mana. That's pretty interesting, because you know, then you can create that crashing wave, colossal wave in there that those cards are so incredibly good. Let's do it. Let's get two mana Tidal Wave. I think that card's worth two mana. Blue Sentinel's really nice too, though. Like these are all these are again good options. Like we're getting good options. Let's take the Tidal Wave. All right, so we got a healing station. Oh, level three. Oh, do we get a power? We do get a power. Yes, welcome gifts. Always one of my favorites. 
get random keywords on everything. What can we cut? We can cut the shark trainer. Cool. See you, shark trainer. You did good. You did good. But now you're gone. Your little grifter. the ability to attune right now. Soraka with Challenger is cool. You leave me no choice. Um let's do this. Do that so we can you know get rid of spell mana so that we have the ability to attune. And then, of course, we also want to get that card back into our deck as early as possible. Oh, that thing's actually going to hit me. Yeah, that thing won't hit me. Well. Okay, so I'm not planning on playing one of these spells, because if I don't play, then we just uh, level up Ganami by not playing anything right here. I will find the Moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Rude. Alright, cast a spell. Grow stuff. Jettison. Jettison, worst spell. Oh no, my deal too. Oh, so I guess it was at the very bottom of the deck. We weren't really going to be able to. Oh, that thing's elusive. We weren't really going to be able to grab that anyway. Hmm. Okay, well. Leave me be. You block there, then I guess you block there. You gotta leave the baby. I'm taking a good amount of damage here from elusives. These elusives have really been hurting me. I won the Nami Challenge with Nami Thresh Misfortune getting Zombie Namis. They have Scout and Fury. Awesome. That's a good challenge. That's a good way to, to win that one. I'm proud to call myself Tidecaller. Congratulations. Good job. Man, we can get a Felios. Just going to make our deck even slower. <laughs> but a Felios is awesome. 
If you've leveled a champion, all your allies have plus two, plus zero. I'll just take Felios. Hopefully get some moon weapons. What we got in the shop? I got 65 coins. And can't really... Can't really buy any of these, but I will... I think I'll be buying this tidal wave. That tidal wave looks really good. That'll be later. But that looks pretty nice. I've, like, healed the Nexus equal to my cost whenever it's cast. So I wonder if that means the other spells. Do y'all think that, like, how the tidal wave creates the second spell? Do you think the second spell costs one less and also heals the Nexus? Or does that go away? Love heavens aligned. See, I'll think about not not getting other random regions that aren't very good. We won't, you know, we'll hurt our coral creatures if we do that. I need some next ceiling. Oh, these both have augment. Well, that's crazy. From darkness, light. <laughs> Legally, Burblefish isn't really doing anything here. Still just passing? My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Alright, love it. Nami has lifesteal. Did he even play a single card that whole time? What kind of challenge is this? <laughs> Have y'all ever seen that? Like where, like if it's like round one or two that you're like killing them like right away, like okay, but round five, they didn't do anything round one, two, three, or four. Overwhelm Fizz. Does that add in Bandle for a different region? Maybe. But we get Overwhelm Fizz. I don't know. Mountain Goat creating gems is like kind of better for us. A fearsome Mountain Goat. That's kind of better for us. Or this thing then creates a card. Like the gems are perfect with Nami and Soraka. Alright, I guess we'll just take the thing that makes the gems. We had Fizz yesterday in the Pike deck. You like the Ionia spell? Draw a card plus create a new spell. I just kind of wanted to keep my regions, right? Like, that's the only reason why I didn't take it. But you're right, that, that card maybe would have been the best. But I wanted to keep my regions. Um, I don't really know why I wanted to keep my regions. It probably wasn't necessary to keep the regions. But I kind of want to just keep the regions. I was planning on saving spell mana and working towards Chumba Waters, saving spell mana for Nami. However, they played that Crackshot Corsair, and so I thought I had to play something to kill it. I'm sorry, Nami. I'm not doing a good job leveling you up. Here's some Overwhelm. Tough. Good attackers. Light. 
Wait, that thing's gonna turn into a three, a four, three. Gross. Oh well. Missed. Yeah, it can be difficult to get enough spell mana for Nami. Spell mana number two. Man, this thing has overwhelmed quick attack. That's pretty nice. That's a nice combination right there. Elusive? Alright, so we have a <laughs> regular quick attack of Felios. So you don't have to wait till next round for the quick attack. Alright, let's give that overwhelm. I said overwhelm, but it meant uh, lifesteal. Oh, we made a gift from beyond? Is what we made? Well, that's a thing. It's a nice little thing. Let the tide carry you. Rise with the surf. More life steal? So it's 10 life steal. They can have the 4 or 5 block my Aphelios, but it doesn't kill it. No escape this time. All right, we get to heal our Nexus for 10, back to 23. That's always really important in these. They're not very good at playing that card, doesn't feel like. All right, stunning this elusive, because I can't ever deal with it otherwise. Okay. Block. I understand. Currents keep me. Why are you here? All right, down twenty two. Start. You gain overwhelm. Ride the surging tides. Did that Nami just buff itself up? Oh, it's buffing itself up because of augment. Protection, you. Is that my second spell? Oh, it leveled up, so now I have to make a new. I have to play two more spells for a new moon weapon. Oh, I don't get my new moon weapon that I wanted. Alright, whatever. Let's see. Alright, first. Attack with you. Then y'all, then y'all. 
All right, good enough. Not quite good enough. If I would have had that other moon weapon, would have been able to win right there. Hey, X. Everyone level up! You level up, and you can level up, and you can level up. Alright, get rid of the elusive. Let's grab a Severum. My nor my narwhal. All right, we're gonna go back and uh, play the Severum, so we get to gain life. Who gets the Severum? I guess you do. You're the biggest. We want to make sure that we heal our Nexus before the game's over. To, oh, we have this thing though now too. Oh, but if I cast that, we could randomly do the two to their nexus. All right, let's do that. And then I don't know who else is challenger. You do. I want to heal my nexus there. Oh, we only go to 24. I thought we went to like 28. I mean, you know, later on you you continually grow your nexus. Like you know, you get to like 32 or whatever before the game plank. But I thought we were. Yeah, I guess we wouldn't be at 28 already. Maybe you get to up to 40? No, 40 seems too high. All right, Pale Cascade, also healing the Nexus. Very good. Ruined Rex also heals the Nexus, though. Ooh. How many cards you've drawn this around? So then, equal to my cost. This heals the Nexus 5 whenever we play Ruined Rex? Oh, which one do we take? Those are both so good. Has Pill Cascade. Yeah, that's a good part about um, regen, minus one cost, or pickaxe. Let's go minus one cost. It's a good thing about Aphelios, getting those lifesteal moon weapons for us. So, like these healers, we don't have to use. We can just cut cards. Let's cut. Oh, which one of these we want to cut? I guess. Hmm. I guess the sand hopper. Yeah, because by the time sand hopper just costs the same as like my other champions and stuff. So now not all th not all of my champions cost three mana. We get some gold. All right, so whenever this creates. Okay, so these things will still just be three mana and they won't have anything. So this minus one cost and then heal my Nexus doesn't really do very much for those other cards. Okay. It's still a good card, though. At 80. Still a good card. All right, I'm going to purchase a reroll token. It's good to have those on hand. All 
I wonder, wonder if I should buy this. I think so. All right, we're going to buy it. Okay. Get a bunch of those. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. I could just I think I only had one copy of my deck. Maybe I had two copies, but I think I only had one, but maybe I had two. But anyway, I could just purchase one and give those other two the buff. Alright, Warden's gone. Keep the champs. We're playing against Shadow Assassin. That sounds like elusives. Which sounds bad. Shake, shake down, I'm gonna draw some champs. Alright, what does it do? Round start, create a return. Oh, this one? Yeah, this level's like really difficult. We it took us like 15, 20 minutes to defeat this level last time. But hopefully I kinda understand what's going on more now and we can do better. Wash away. I am here to help. Soraka with impact. Okay, we only had one waves before, so now we have the four. <laughs> no. Wrong thing to do damage to. Taking three. There's another one. Today you are King Ku. Yeah, this is one of the toughest matchups, I think, the Shadow Assassin, with all these returns and everything. You're under our protection. Okay. Okay, so this will this will be game. Because you know, no matter what they block, we're gonna be dealing lethal. All right, but we're not healing our nexus, so we're down to twenty-one. The heavens rejoice. Twisted fate. Heal our Nexus some more, draw cards with that, but I mean, come on, it's Twisted Fate. Man, our deck is ridiculous. It's not going to win that quickly, but man, is it powerful. I'm going to hopefully never be able, never have to use a heal thing. We've already used the heal things to cut cards, the heal stations, but hopefully we'll never have to use a heal station for our... Nexus. Now, I think that that means, you know, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get an, okay, so for the skill, to get an A rank, you have to not die at all. To get an S rank, you have to not die and not use the heal stations. Now, I think that that means not use the heal stations at all. We have used them for cutting cards, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe we are allowed to cut cards. We'll kind of be able to find out and just see what happens here. Side, small fry. Rolling tide. All right, that'll 
heal my Nexus too. Create a couple of those crashing waves. Sucker for some good life steal. From shores to hills, we know every acre. So pretty. The summer fields. Scout. No gills, no entry. He won't stop me. And just get rid of both these. some stuff up. Yeah, that's what people have said is that you're allowed to they think that you're allowed to cut the cards. But I feel like I played it um I've played it before and cut cards and didn't heal and I didn't get the S tier. I only got A tier. So maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, maybe something weird happened. But I thought I was trying to do that before, but we're gonna retry here. We're gonna try to get S tier S tier skill if we can. Five spell mana. For leveling up Nami. Deal me in. Whoa. Talk about a card I was not expecting to see. Back to 24. Man, our deck is good. <laughs> All these champions. These are very good champions. It's just, it's going to take a while to actually win the game. But I think our deck's pretty good. Okay. How'd you do that? Uh, maybe I should have done this Nami's up first instead of stun. I did the stun, of course, to make another moon weapon. Alright, we still got lucky. How many moon weapons? Okay, so we need to play one more. Level up. I think it's just a 6-4 elusive challenger. That's pretty good. Well, it was good. It's going to die, but that was still pretty good. Oh, 
Okay, so hopefully, so hopefully we can still get the S rank even after cutting cards. That's that's our goal. Are we completely killing them yet? I don't like have any challenger. They block six. It would have been thirteen damage. to heal, do I know? These things. Okay, so the... Yeah, you can go there. 8-5 um, overwhelm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess this thing's attacking for the least amount of damage, so we go there. With purpose. It will be done. Oh, you're in for it. Two. Uh. Nope, they're not dead yet. My family is raised on this soil. A crescent path opens before us. We don't want any trouble. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really gonna win from that thing, am I? Probably not. We're taking the long way. Taking the long way to victory. That's what it looks like. Alright, finally get to attack out and win. We should. Thing, our deck's very good. It's got lots of very good champions, and we have a lot of Nexus healing, which is clutch to make sure that we don't die. But it's not going to win games very fast at all. Okay, what do we have? One cost Guiding Touch? Or Double Up also heals the Nexus 5? I think we're just going to take the Guiding Touch. I like drawing more cards, only one cost. Battle Bonds is actually kind of interesting, but we don't really need that Poro. Guiding Touch is a spell, works works good with Soraka, works good with Nami. Get a new power? Yes, new power. Alright, all allied buffs are except barrier are permanent. Oh, that's kinda nice. So that's gonna be like with the moon weapons from Aphelios, that's gonna make those buffs permanent. Or we re-roll. This is where I would wouldn't mind using rerolls. Um, I think we're just gonna reroll. Cause like basically all of our buffs are permanent, almost all of them. Yeah, let's just reroll. Okay. I like these. When you cast a slow spell, cast it again on the same targets. Yes, please. But then out of the gates is awesome. Like these are all very good. So out of the gates can hit um, Nami. We do have you know we have two cost Nami. 
but then this can be like doubling up all of our moon weapons, doubling up like the the waves. Remember how we have like the four waves in our deck? This doubles up all those waves. That's pretty cool. And all the moon weapons. These are both awesome. I think that we're going to win late games anyway, and this just helps us win late games that we're probably already going to win anyway. I'm going to take the out of the gates and try to get Nami at the beginning. Like, just in play. We have other two drops, though, so it's not going to be all the time. When you when cast... Okay, no, we do not need to cast more of those. Oh, yeah, because we have Mountain Goats also. When I'm summoned, heal Nexus equals my cost. When cast, there's a 50% chance of create a copy of me in hand that costs zero this round. But remember these draw champions. I kind of want to reroll this because we get a pretty awesome treasure, and I don't necessarily need any of these. So I think I'm going to go ahead and reroll here. All right, we'll take the Mountain Goat with the Lich's Bane, getting a plus one, plus one all the time. We shall do that. Or just all enemies just have minus one, minus zero with that. That's really cool that, like, the landmarks have... Like, that's cool for the landmarks, but we're going to take the goat with the Lich's Bane. Okay, let's travel on over here to the shop. We got 315 coins, and I do not need to buy any of these. I do not want any. Sorry, y'all. Okay, before we fight Karma, let's... Make our deck better. Yeah, we're slow but steady. Yeah, doubling up also doubles all the Nami buffs. Yeah, the double up is difficult to pass up. Double jump the waters. Alright, I'm going to keep the Warden in hand. Not because I think that the Warden's a good card. But keeping it in hand means it's less likely for our power to put it in play. No, we still put it in play. My training is unconventional. Oh, I don't have the attack token. I'll show you how it's done. My life or theirs. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Oh, Scout? Sure. That's not very much damage. Think you're fast? Cute. I am here to help. Try to They've done everything. You are better than this. They always be stunning. Let the tide carry you. By starlight. Yeah, I'm ready. Take heart. Right. Now who's got the upper hand? Yeah, I didn't do the whole scout attack thing. Fluffy tails fool ya. Um oh, there's another one. Didn't really feel like we needed to, to do that. This is glorious. Right, so Calibrum. I'm gonna save the spell mana. Or we're, we're at five now. Tidal wave. Kill the elusive. Think you're fast? Cute. Roiling seas and them. I'm just putting the crashing wave into my deck. Obviously that tidal wave doesn't really do anything, but I'm just putting that into the deck. Alright, now we have level up Nami. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. Okay. Now we have a lot of options. Let's start with this thing. Nope. Wanted to do damage to the Blade Twirler, of course. 
Ride the surging tides! Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Heal me in. Dead in their tracks. Nice, Twist Fate has Challenger. Time for a leap of faith. See? This is progress! Rise with the surf! Oh, that was the second version, not the third version. I thought that was the third version that was going to Wash away. deal damage. short as always. We'll have red card. Any simple tips for getting S rank or A rank? Only I can quell the wind. Yeah, I mean, I guess you, you have to be able to, to you know, you got to stay alive, of course, the whole time to get S, S rank or A rank. And so finding ways to heal your Nexus is really, really important. Um, so while, while you're playing through the level, you can see we have a Feldeos here that grabs the life steal, but we also have a lot of different powers that heal the Nexus. Got to make sure you can win longer games and stay alive and you know always protect your nexus and anything that anything that does uh protect your nexus is going to be uh going to be worth it i don't love any of these i guess the cloven way with its ability to stun you know so like you know this thing protects my nexus the most with the ability the ability to stun i could take the syncopation but then the syncopation is an ionia card and i i I've been just keeping it completely bilge water Targon. I don't really want to grab another region. So I'm going to grab this club anyway. All right, what do we have in these shops? Plate worm egg? We just have plate worm egg for 10 coins? Five coins, two coins? What's... What's the... How is this bad? Like, what... If I'm, we just get to purchase this, huh? Because usually they have like some kind of negative thing on them. We just get plate warming. Weird. Lich's bane on Nami. Oh, but then slow but steady. Oh, which one? I'm not taking the coins. We're taking one of the other two. Oh, do we take Slow But Steady or... Nami has Lich's Bane. Oh, man. Both of these are awesome. This is the Ocean's Gift. Thank you, Ocean. Oh, this is tough. Okay, we're going to go... Yeah, I think we go Lich Bane on the Nami. Because that also puts an additional copy of Nami in the deck, which is um, really nice for our power of put the two-cost thing in play right away. Oh, all right, Lich Bane on the Nami. Our deck seems really good. We have so many different two cost cards though, it's just unlikely that we actually do put Nami in play. Yeah, we just have so many different two cost cards. But it's good to have these things in. Yeah, we attuned. Nami's already at two out of seven. That three out of seven.
hope they can't actually play that. Or like, you know, use that something to like kill my Nami. Rise with the surf. Good, good. Ye been warned. Oh, this rock has scout? How about that? Now it gets the damage. Stars fall. Come on. All right, Nami is overwhelmed. With purpose. Okay, our deck is starting to get very powerful. It's looking good. Roiling seas them. So we heal two, but then also take one. Man, Nami is going to be having lots of voice lines, I feel like. I feel like we're going to get lots of Nami voice lines. Three right now. Leave me be. So I'm basically leveling up, you know, I, I focused on leveling up Nami here instead of maybe, maybe I should just be red carding, gearing all their blockers and all that, but leveling up the Nami. Plateworm egg. Only one. Alright, so with Playworm Egg, I kind of want to clear up space. I kind of want to just get rid of... Oh, that's the only one that's vulnerable? Okay, well, never mind. I hope they block my 3-2 and kill it as well. Yeah. So now I got space. Man, our deck is something else. Alright, so I want to find some life steal, or you know, just Nexus healing before we kill them, because we're about to go face Karma. Well, that's a way to find some lifesteal. Okay, so oh, I guess I, I don't have the mana for Ebb and then Aphelios and then Moon Weapon. One mana short of that. Hey, Potty, doing good, doing good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and attack. We don't really have to worry about. Oh. Who can. Who has Challenger? Do you have Challenger? Okay, there we go. Yeah, get, get you last. Okay. Heal Nexus. There we go. So we got to 25. That's the most I got to. We should be at 25 still, not 24, because hopefully they see that, you know, like we dealt lethal damage before that powder monkey. So hopefully we're at 25. Whoa, Astral Protection can cost one mana with plunder. I'm only looking at Bilgewater Targon cards. So that's 
That one's in the clubhouse. We could get Jack the Winner with Challenger, but we don't really need Jack the Winner with Challenger. Let's get one mana Astral Protection with Plunder. Okay. Go back over here just to check, but I think there was nothing. Yep, nothing. All right, on to our first boss with Karma. Yeah, I'm doing good, doing good. We got the mid boss with Karma. All right, hand looks good. The Tidal Wave, I'm not so sure about, but you know, we make like these other cards that are awesome, the Crashing Wave, Colossal Wave into the deck. It's probably good to put those into the deck. Shakedown draws a champion, which is why I like that card. Ooh, we do hit Nami right away. Lies within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. All right, so they have the attack token. Let the tide carry you. Ride the surging tides. Take a stance and hold it. As darkness falls, I think we send him to start with. How they have that. Let the tide carry you. Ride the surging tides. Man, Nami's gonna have so many voice lines Sorry. in this. Card. Ours is the will of Ionia. Surprised they are attacking with the karma, but I'm pretty happy about it. So Raka. Sure. Every scout. We'll lead with you, Soraka. Snap out of Life steel. fighting to be done. This is how I fight. Rolling time. Heed my call. Rise with the surf. Ride the surging tides. Aurora Borealis. Alright, go on, hit Eye of the Dragon. We need more ways to draw cards. Alright, now hit either one. But hopefully I the dragon. But either one. I'll hit their nexus. The only thing not to hit. Okay, so they're at 18. We get an elusive Enrage Yeti. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Block there, block there, and... I guess you will block. No spells, no draglings. Heal, heal. Attack, attack. Hmm. 
So save Soraka or... I guess we just save Soraka. Alright, so we'll at least now have Nami leveled up. Yeah, maybe we won't have to actually kill Poros Led to win. Mm, good card. Calling any of my cards. They'll recall their own card. Alright, Monster Harpoon. Get rid of first blocker. Well, I wanted to stun something, get rid of second blocker. Scout! Scout's good. Level up, Soraka. All right, we got we defeated the boss. We're still at 28 life. With the welcome, get, like we have so much Nexus healing and everything, we're never gonna have to use the station. So hopefully we can get S tier from this. We have been cutting cards. Hopefully they don't mind that. Pike with Lich's Bane. Oh, we just have Lich's Bane everywhere. What is this deck? Our deck is ridiculous. I don't have any rerolls. Um, all right, I guess it's just the Challenger with the Soraka, or we could do Spell Shield with the Felios. I don't have any rerolls, unfortunately. Oh, we can do. Okay, never mind. These can go anywhere, so we could do Spell Shield on any of them. Plus one, plus one, Lurk, and I'm a Lurker. On like Soraka, give Soraka like plus one plus one. Let's just give Twisted Fate has Fearsome and Quick Attack. We could give Twisted Fate Challenger. None of these really matter. Yeah, we have been high rolling a whole lot. Is it this this one, none of these are high rolls. Um yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Alright, we'll give Soraka a challenger. The shop. Okay, we want a reroll token. I would have used that reroll token previously if we could have. When cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. That's only one. Hmm. All right, we may, we could re-roll here, but let's let's save it. Let's not re-roll yet. We don't really need it. Oh, let's cut a card. Cut a card. We can cut the Star Spring or the Chump the Waters. Probably just the Star Spring. Like we really don't need. Like our deck's not really a Star Spring deck. We don't need that card. Okay, let's go up here so we can see what's in this treasure chest. We have five champions. Two of them have Lich's Bane. Our deck is absurdly good. Take it for. 
Oh, this is whenever, okay, whenever a unit dies, grant a random unit in hand, in that player's hand, plus one, plus one. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. Uh. It's jailbreak it is. Elusive. Play were Meg. My friend and I, toll collectors. Play worm egg. Hello, you best friend. Follow my lead. Stay back. My oh. Now we have Twisted Fate also. Okay, we'll go with the tidal wave for the Lich's Bane for both of our champs. Man, our deck is ridiculous. Like, there's no way we're losing a game. It's just, you know, it's going to take us a while to win all these, but there's no way we're losing a game. Sure. Let's go with stun blue card. I guess we'll go. This. We only get two instead of three, right? Like I wanted to get three, but two's good enough. Ride the surging tides. Rise with the surf. Two's good enough. All right, we're about to level up Pike next round. I guess we just attack and kill him. Which means we were one damage away from leveling up Pike, but oh well. GG. We don't need to take a half hour every single game, I guess. Oh man, it'd be nice. Like this hired gun is not the hired gun's the best card. However, I don't want to take it because I don't want more two drops. Because then we start the game. It just gives us another card that's not Nami that we'd start the game with and play. So I guess I'm taking the gift giver. Gems are good to have. The chest. Not a very good chest. Not a very good chest at all. We're gonna re-roll this, because these chests are usually get us some something pretty awesome. But I don't really want any of these. Not a good chest. So the astral protection costs one with plunder and can be doubled up. The mountain goat has Lich's Bane. You can have attack nav one. I guess we'll just have Mountain Goat have attack nav one. Okay, so we're heading. We're in this last little section now. The Eye of the Dragon. We're getting closer and closer to Gangplank as we continually build our deck. I wish I could cut these monster harpoons that we keep drawing. This is so silly. So this Mountain Goat has Attack Nab 1 and Elusive and Fearsome and Lich's Bane. So that has Lich's Bane, this has Lich's Bane. The Pike will have Lich's Bane. I guess I just play this card. 
even though it doesn't do anything, just to use both my spell mana, because then next round we can, like, not play anything and then gain three spell mana. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... It's cool. So sorry, Soraka. I think I'm just going to gain three spell mana. Get this Nami towards leveling up. Overwhelm? Alright, triple Lich's Bane across the board. Time to play some spells. Probably should have just played this crashing wave. Ride the surging tides. Let the tide carry you. Tides rising. Oh, you have quick attack. Sorry, Nami, I should be attacking with you also. I, I just realized you had quick attack now. I was looking at all the different cards in hand, all the different stuff. I didn't realize that thing had quick attack. We can assume they're going to play another thing. Alright, I don't want to necessarily assume they're going to play another thing. Let's just go ahead and do this now. Clear that wave up. Alright, save spell mana, level up Nami. The Mirai will never know fear again! From the waters. What do you get? Try that Sonic Wave first. Okay, so this puts them down to two. We can. Let the tide carry you. Ride the surging tides. We can fix that. Let Leveling up Pike. Rise with the surf. Let the tide carry you. Ride the surging tides. Man, our deck is crazy. Triple Lich's Bane. I, I've never had two things with Lich's Bane, I don't think. We have three cards with Lich's Bane. Alright, so now Ebb would be... When cast, there's a 50% chance to create a copy that costs zero. Yes, please. Oh, this is when I'm summoned, I capture the strongest enemy. Man, that is really an epic, like, that is an epic power. Like, that just captures the strongest enemy. It's just, that's really good. But I think, I think with our deck, I think we want this ebb. That we can just maybe make, like, a whole bunch of ebbs. So Karma's the half boss, Gangplank's the final boss. All right, cut a card. What can we cut? Clovenway. Sorry, Clovenway. You're cool now, but you're gone. All right, now the shop. I guess... All right, so we're definitely getting purchasing a reroll token, but I guess we get these jailbreaks. Yeah, these jailbreaks are actually pretty nice. Way for us to use our spell mana, but then also just you know play a whole bunch of spells, potentially. They, again, will have the 50% chance to uh, replace themselves. So every run, Gangplank is the same final boss, but the mid, the mid boss is different. There's Karma and Swain and... 
Azir. And so you get one of those three randomly. They're doing good tossing. Doing lots of tossing. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Search for Elusive Nami. Alright, so I'm gonna wait till we get this other mountain goat in play, because remember all these mountain goats have the Lich's Bane. Kind of get all of them in play before we start playing spells. Also, get our spell mana doing its thing. Okay. So, Nami's Ebb. I don't think it. So, that's probably not like regular Ebb. Oh, you have lifesteal? That's cool. Pike on top. Alright, this is kind of All right, I'll just I'll just send that back. This is kind of messed up. <laughs> Our deck is ridiculous. We did nab two, which is gonna help them go deep faster. So we did that. Maybe not the best decision. This is going to do damage to my Nexus, but then we heal it back with the Lifesteal. Five out of seven. Oh man, what a good, what a card. All right, <laughs> this is gonna be just silly. They're at nine, we're gonna be killing them this round, of course. But we're gonna play a whole bunch of spells first. With all these gems. Let's grow Pike. Let's level up Pike. So many ma animations. It's always Nami saying stuff. What if I... What if we go like this? Can it be Pike saying stuff? No. It's just always Nami. Okay, ready to kill him? I think so. Nab, nab. Sure. Okay, our deck is pretty unreal. Playing all the cards though, so like it's not super fast, but the power is ridiculous. Alright, hopefully we level up, and speaking of powers and getting additional power, maybe we get like evolution, so they can all get plus one plus one with how many keywords they have. 
Oh, Lulu. Man, I don't want to take Lulu. But I'm I'm sticking with Targon Bilgewater. Sticking to it. So Burble Fish. We'll play we'll play enough spells for Burble Fish. Probably. Yes, level seven. Alright, what do we get? Everything has Fury, raise my power to match my health. That's good with Soraka, but nothing else. Alright, we could have everything have Fury, but that's that's not that great. Let's reroll. Round start, refill your spell mana. Yes, please. Not only do we have a lot of spells we want to play, but man, that is awesome with Nami. Talk about leveling up your Nami pretty fast. Alright, take the treasure. Get some gold. Start of the game, draw me if it's not in your hand. That's pretty awesome. When I'm cast, summon a follower with my cost from my regions. Ooh, the shards of the mountain. Because then it makes a whole lot of gems. Then we can play a lot of gems. And that's great with all of our our cards and all of our Lich's Banes. But I'm going to just take the Pale Cascade. Start the game. Draw the Pale Cascade. I'm just going to take that. Man, our deck is silly. Okay, you've been climbing with Turbo Thralls. Very nice. And we got like five awesome champions too. And just refill the spell mana. I guess. I guess we keep chum the waters, don't we? Yeah. Cause we get to go round one, chum the waters. Round two, plate worm egg. We want to use our spell mana so we can refill it. Oh, no big deal. Just round two. This is our board. What's up? <laughs> no big deal. Alright, you got scout. Looks like you're the only one with scout. So close to a round two kill. Alright, round three. Nami leveled up. Both elusive. Okay, we'll just go ahead and attack. Could, you know, obviously I could do more. Yeah, you know, I could play more spells and stuff, but that's just not necessary. We'll just finish the game out. There we go. Nice round four kill. My loved ones will be safe a while longer. The faster you win, also, I think the more, um, like, XP in here you gain. Like, the adventure XP. Soraka plus two plus two? That sounds good. Ye been warned, just draw that at the beginning of the game. That sounds pretty good, too. That one, not so much. Let's get Soraka plus two plus two. Even though I don't really know what Soraka's really doing for us anymore. Like how good our deck is. Yep, there we are, level eight. And your created cards cost one less. Sounds like a good thing to me. I want cards to cost less mana. Just these other two just don't... I don't really want these other two. Well, I mean, I guess the fleeting zero-cost counterfeit copies, the the thing about this is, is it, it's a spell, right? So we're getting free spells for our Lich's Banes. Now we'll just have our credit cards cost one less. That'll help out Aphelios. But the, our entire deck is just already so good. Alright, we're going to cut you, Songstress. Good card to cut. That's a good card to cut. Get a reroll token. Tidal wave costs zero. Hmm. Nah, we don't need that. 
What else we got over here? Yes, we had a new power. When you cast a slow spell, cast it again. Oh, we ended up getting slow but steady. Oh, man. Our deck is insane. Okay, there was one of these shops... Not that one. Maybe this one. That I that there was something that I thought about buying or maybe re-rolling or something. Okay, so we could re-roll that. That shop's not great. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Wasn't there one that was like a pretty nice bonus? Maybe it's these things that are yellow. What am I looking for? No, that's just a regular old shop. Alright, I guess it's this. We'll head on over here. We're going to reroll this. We got a reroll token to use somewhere. Man, now Mirai Warden also has Lich's Bane? This thing can draw two champions? Whenever we play this, draw two champions. How insane would that be? I guess we get another Mirai Warden with... We get another... More Lich's Banes, I guess. Now we have another card with Lich's Bane. And, I mean, why not just draw two champions? I mean, I have all the coins. Yeah, why not draw two champions? Sure. I guess so. Okay, I'm, we're already at level 8. You can't go above level 8. Might as well play this for zero, minus 2 cost. Alright, let's just go fight Gangplank. We don't, we don't need to even do that last battle. Let's go fight Gangplank. Our deck... <laughs> we have 4 things with Lich's Bane. We have a lot of Nexus healing. I don't see how we can lose. We refill our spell mana every single round. Our deck is insane. Sorry, Twisted Fate, you, you can go. Oh no! Coral creatures. Gonna go infinite. We need to go infinite whenever we have our Lich's Bane, though. Okay, these things are fleeting. It just costs zero this round. So it'll cost mana future rounds, I guess. Oh, that's gonna do two damage, right? I'm smart. Might as well play these, I guess. Or I guess the reason not to play, um... Because we want to wait. Okay, who is the worst one of these? You. Embrace the current or be swept away. Be nothing left when I'm done. Alright, so it's slow spell, so we double it up. That's right, so jailbreaks get doubled because of our our power that doubles the slow spells. And we're at six out of seven. Oh, could I have I should have spent a spell mana first and then made that seven out of seven. This is okay. Well I guess this is life. Do we just get a round two kill? This definitely would have been a round two kill if I would have spent one spell mana first before playing the Nami. I think this is a round two kill. 
the tide carry you. Ride with the surging tides. Rise with the surf. How much damage do we already have? I don't know, a lot. 10, 23, 27, 31. Yeah, this is a round two kill. They did! Yeah, that was one way to end the run. Gotta rise with the surf. Okay, is this 40 damage yet? Alright, that's 43. There we go. We can keep on going, but that's lethal. Wow. Man, our deck was insane. My loved ones will be safe a while longer. That was insane. A round two kill! On Gangplank, round two kill. Though we could have kept on going and done, you know, 100 damage on round two. Especially if I would have spent the one mana first and then played Nami, we definitely would have done 100 damage. Could have even been 200. And if I don't play like that other zero cost one, yeah, we could have two different decisions there. We could have, you know, done somewhere between like the two to 500 damage range against Gangplank if we would have just sat there forever. Okay, S skill. So that does show. So you can cut cards. You just can't heal at the healing um, stations. All right, so you can't, no deaths, no heal. Zero deaths, zero heals. We never healed at a healing station. We did cut cards quite a bit, but we never healed. So that's going to end our run, and that should be, all right, five for five. We get the Gangplank card back. We get a lot of loot. I was going to show the Gangplank card back, but I guess, all right, fine. We'll just go through these. All right, Prismatic Chest. Um, Crystal Ibex is cool. I guess jury rig. I don't know. I don't love any of these. Crystal Ibex is like my favorite out of them. We'll just take that. Yeah. Pseudo, pseudo infinite damage round two. Not exactly infinite, but... Oh, we don't get to... It didn't show like a cool animation of gaining the card back. What we got? There it is. Lab of Legends, the Saltwater Scourge, right there. All right, so that was our deck with Nami. Pretty insane run. I can't believe how many Lich's Banes and everything that we had. That run was insane. So, uh, anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if you have any kind of crazy runs like that, um, or anything like that. If you need, you know, any any help you need, anything, you know, leave those comments. Um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. That was awesome. Uh, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.